Don't you just love a man who listens to you? Love that for me. Very relaxing. We got the assault on camera. She like, <laughs> I don't mind being stepmama. Good morning, guys. We are hopping right in today because we are on our way to meet some ladies at Onsen. Onsen, I believe, is Japanese. However, it's similar to a Korean bath spa, which I've been to back home in the States. It's 10.40, okay, I'm not late. I meet them there at 11, it's 10.40. I have about 10 hour, I have about a 10 minute walk. I'm excited, I'm excited to get naked. <laughs> you haven't been to an onsen before. quite noisy on the street but the last time I showed my face to this here camera I was feeling pretty down pretty bad mighty low it gonna be okay girl <gasps> and um, you know it's just one of those times where you just miss the familiar a little bit you know I've been around this mirror around for quite some time and this is not my first rodeo living abroad. It still can get to you sometimes. So I'm grateful for these moments where I can meet up with some ladies and have a spa day. I don't know what to expect, but I guess we're all comfortable getting naked in front of each other since the onsen, right? How quiet if you're like in mean, school. Something. This now meaning we go to onsen first. Onsen later. Oh, we do this first and then onsen yes, later. Master, master. I'm thirsty. What's this? And what's a pending drink? Okay, what is this? Ah. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, it's panda. Oh. You know what panda is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's panda? It's like uh, it's not aloe vera, but it kind of looks like aloe vera. Um, oh, and it's a. It's like so we just arrived at the onsen, and it is so super cute. Only seven hundred and fifty baht to enter the onsen for from ten to midnight, ten a.m. to midnight, and then you can get some spa packages. They have a little shop here. It smells so good. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so first up we have our what we we getting? A foot massage. Foot, hand, back, and shoulder massage. 90 minutes. And then we enter the onsen. Hmm. There's a little juice and water refreshing. Uh. I just finished my feet, hand, back massage, and shoulders. Oh my gosh. I have never felt, and it was with a guy, I have never felt so good. It was probably the best foot massage I've ever had. He didn't even take off my clothes. That's how crazy it was. I felt so good. And my clothes didn't even come off. That's crazy. 
you should never get a massage when you ovulated because I was over there dying. <laughs> I am shocked that I feel so good and wanting a full body massage. 90 minutes. Okay. Oh, this is nice and different. We have some tea and they provided us with a mango tea rice. This is my favorite. Then we're going to go enjoy the onsen. So good. I feel good. I think it's good to do it before you go to the onsen. <laughs> So we're taking a break from the onset from the the baths. How you feel? Awesome. I feel so good. How you feel? Super relaxed. <coughs> feel amazing. <laughs> we get naked. We be naked. naked. We be naked. <laughs> Obviously, I can't take my my you know the camera in there, right? But we're about to get some ground. I'm so hungry. I like I feel so relaxed. Mm -hmm. Like like real relaxed. Because yes. the massage started us off. I think that's the best way to go. Well. Instead of doing it the other way around, getting the massage first and then going into the bath. Mm. I can have somebody rub me down here. You got it right? I can have somebody rub me down here. Yes, 100%. Hour number five, hour number, hour number six. Yeah, we've been here for six hours. And we're still relaxing. <laughs> now just finished some of the rooms, the baths, and get a little hungry. So we're coming. Came out to the common area. Relax. <laughs> Alright, after a nice breakout in civilization, we're heading back in and uh phones down because you know people's nectics and stuff. <laughs> hey y'all. <laughs> We are officially finished with our spa day. We have been here since 11 a.m. It is 7.30. <laughs> spa day successful. Getting something to eat and a drink. So, to be continued.
I told him to pick the place. I've always wanted to go to Top Golf, and he said, "We're going to Top Golf today." Don't you just love a man who listens to you? I had briefly mentioned the other day that I have never been to Top Golf before, and then today, guess where I'm being taken? Top Golf. Love that for me. I truly think that I'm going to. Because my makeup is so simple, I'm going to sport a red lip and my top bun since I'm going to top golf. <laughs> Girl, you crazy. We are off. Skin is skinning. Day night. This top that I got from one of the markets here, actually. Someone has 77. Unfortunately, I'm a natural at this. Oh, natural at golf. I need to I need to join the GPT, whatever it's called. What's what's the golf tour? That's what I need to join with the tiger. Brazilian and Italian. Like, what do I want to know? So, born and raised in Brazil, however, his family is from Italy. So, disclaimer, most likely if I'm telling you about him, then he didn't make the cut. <laughs> Some aspects of my life I will be guarded and don't necessarily show. At the end of the day, this is the internet and I don't show every aspect of my life. Eventually, yes, I will enter a new era when I am in a committed relationship and growing in that direction and settling down but and then parts of my brand and youtube will will morph into that era of my life but right now as i'm dating and enjoying this dating season if i'm telling you about them in detail like this they didn't make the cut <laughs> sorry sorry lola hair but you know it's just everyone doesn't need to know absolutely everything about you you know 
some things you just have to keep to yourself and that's okay you know and he took me to top golf i've never been to top golf before and something that is an like an absolute bonus for me brownie points is if you listen and then do like i remember our first date we were i slightly mentioned something about I've never been to top golf top golf or whatnot and our second date lo and behold he takes me to top golf i love the thought into that someone who is just thoughtful and cares about my well-being my feelings my wants and my needs that is uh, like heaven and we had an absolute ball i'm honestly not going to lie it was such a great time and we ate good we just cackled and laughed and had a good time i don't know if i should share just in case he's watching this bless his heart hope he's not but i don't know if i should share why i'm going to friend zone him because i think he will make a fantastic friend but as far as companionship for me i don't see it that way just know that it was a great day great fun seems like a really nice guy just not for me and that's okay i'm sure you guys can see all the tattoos he had he is a tattoo artist his work is absolutely dope 100 percent, truly honestly truly honestly and you know how i felt i felt like he has all these tattoos right even like on his head and some of his face and i felt like Kourtney kardashian and I, I didn't know what to do <laughs> He had so many tattoos everywhere. I like tattoos to an extent. But all in all, it's just not going to work for me. I'm at the age where and I'm not gonna get into what I'm necessarily looking for, but I am at the age where I am dating older guys. Oh, well, disclaimer, I've always dated older guys, okay? Even when I was 18, I was dating older guys. That's just what I'm attracted to and what draws me. Um, so being at the age of 35, going on 36 in April, I'm at the age where I am dating older guys in their 40s who most likely have children and that is okay with me although i don't want to bear children because i don't feel i never felt like it's something that i need to experience in life pushing out a child i don't mind being stepmom i don't mind dating someone or even marrying someone who has children i do love kids i love children honestly um and i think that every child needs a person in their life who doesn't parent them so so that's why i don't mind dating someone with children i absolutely love a family and a big family dynamic and i'm always like how can i have a big family without having kids and it sounds weird i think i am backwards i am so far from traditional i don't mind being stepmama hey <laughs> i'm really getting in detail in this tell me if i'm weird what do y'all think and i will say if it's somebody with 10 kids with 10 to baby mamas no absolutely not Exactly what I need and want. Been to this store. There's so many cute stuff. This is so cute. This color is so cute. Um, I've been waiting for these. Don't even have any coffee mugs at all. No. Okay. It's really pretty. I like the the color. Okay. We have everything, everything. It's so cute. Y'all, 
I literally get every single thing that I have, obviously, for $635, baht, which is roughly around $17.50, which is crazy. Two big plates, two small plates, two bowls, one small bowl, one blah, 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 and three other items, and three other claim items. Like, this is ridiculous. $635, baht. I tell you what, it's the cheapness for me. I literally have only spent what did i spend five minutes ten minutes in there and i'm done i knew exactly what i needed i can't believe it now i'm gonna get some work done and this bag is heavy 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 guess so heavy on me where my car at hey and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to join me every week and remember, you can also join me on any upcoming international experience around the world. Just click on the link in the description box below, and I hope to see you there. Thanks again for watching.